All the greens are wilted. <laughs> Hey there, Caitlin here, Snap and Nutrition Educator in Waldo County, Maine. Today's video is an awesome partnership with WIC, Women, Infant, and Children of Belfast. So this is the WIC Farmer's Market Challenge. So what is the challenge? WIC has given me four mystery ingredients. I need to create one meal, keep it low cost, and of course, it must be healthy. Alright, challenge accepted. Let's get started. So what are my ingredients this week? I've got asparagus. Nice, lovely, thick asparagus. Some beets. I'm gonna try to use the beets and the greens. Got a lovely bag of lettuce and some rainbow chard. All of the produce today came from New Beet Farm, Dickey Hill Farm, and Piecemeal Farm right here in Waldo County, Maine. All right, so I watched a lot of reruns of Chopped in order to prepare myself for this, but I don't know if I'm quite ready. Follow me on this crazy journey, will you? <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my Stems, look at those beautiful rainbow colors on the chart. I'm gonna cut up the stems and get those in the pan first, just because they're a little bit thicker than the greens and they'll take a little bit longer to cook. I just wanted to get them sauteed and you know started on the heat while I was slicing up these greens. Now, as you can see, they're pretty wilted. I got them on a Friday and didn't make this until Monday, and I did my best, but you know, we're busy parents. We've all got stuff going on. Wilted greens, they happen. We'll deal with that. So once the greens are in the pan with the stems, I added some nice thickly sliced, chunked up garlic. I wanted it to be um, noticeable. I wanted you to see the big slices in the final product. Now it looks like a lot and like the pan is really full, but as you can see, it wilts down quite a bit. Then I'm gonna squeeze some lemon over the uh, chard and the beet greens can definitely have a bitter taste. We're kind of like leaning into that a little bit with the lemon, but also rounding it out to a more sour, bright, fresh taste. Um, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Later we're gonna add some other ingredients to help kind of contrast the um, tangy brightness. But there we go, just a quick, simple saute. Then here's those contrasting ingredients I was talking about. I'm gonna add some shaved Parmesan. The rich, salty Parmesan will help to balance out that zesty, slightly bitter, earthy taste of the greens. Then I just took two chicken thighs, threw them in the same pan that I had um, done the greens in. While those are cooking, I'm gonna start prepping my asparagus. Look at how big these are. They're so thick, it's crazy. Then I sliced up some beets and I just dotted those in the sheet pan with the asparagus. These are all going in the oven together and they're all going on a salad together. I love the rings that you can see on these beets. You can tell that they were well cared for. So there we go. Once the chicken is almost done, I'm going to take that lemon that I used earlier and just squeeze the very last little bits out um, just to kind of tie the chicken in with the sauteed greens. I also had some garlic powder and some chili flakes on it, just keeping it nice and simple, making a nice rounded out plate. So then I went ahead and sliced all my chicken, chunked it up. Uh, my little guy and I were sharing this for dinner, so I made it nice, easy pieces that he could eat too. And there we have it, one, one uh, course, I guess, <laughs> one dish down. So then I went and put some salt and pepper on my asparagus and my beets, and I stuck those in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes just to kind of get them roasty and toasty. Then I took a bowl of lettuce and I topped it with some blood oranges and some walnuts. Then I globbed on some little chunks of um, goat cheese. I thought that that was a really nice addition. It's very affordable. Um, definitely a different kind of cheese. It's got a special kind of tang to it. It goes well with the oranges and the walnuts. Then I'm gonna take the beets and asparagus. I'm gonna put the beets right on the salad, take the asparagus and kind of chunk it up a little bit so it's more, uh, <laughs> more mouth size, I guess. Then I'm gonna take, for my dressing, I took a little bit of olive oil, some apple cider vinegar, and what was that? 
uh, lemon pepper, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot for a second. Keeping with the lemon and the simple flavors. And I just made that quick dressing and poured it over everything and oh my god, it was so good. It brought everything together. So there you have it, a simple beet and asparagus salad. Two dishes, one meal, right? Mission complete, I think. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below how you think I did. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, it really does help us out. And head to mainsnapad.org for more.